Hello! Welcome to the feast. Today we're gonna eat a meal together. How fun is that? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're handling yourself okay. Today it is blizzarding in Chicago. Not great. The roads are kind of a mess, but we shall persevere because we haven't really have a, had a huge, huge storm like this yet. So it was only a matter of time, but let's get into it. I kind of have everything I want to eat today. I hope you have everything settled in. And if not, make sure you get whatever you need to eat. This is kind of what my body was craving slash what we wanted. So I have some leftover stir fry that I made a couple days ago. The days blend together sometimes, but I tried a new like peanut stir fry sauce that I just threw together. Highly recommend. As you can see, I'm too lazy to wash the blueberries. So once I get to this part of the equation, I'm just gonna rinse it under some water. And we have one of my favorite cheeses right now. I'm so excited for this. I love Merck's port wine cheese. Oh my gosh. And we do have like normal crackers, but I love the tortillas, tortilla? Tostito scoops. So good. So I just pair these together anyway. And then <laughs> don't mind my weird water concoction. Oh, it's creating a film at the bottom. That's good. I have this like lemonade mix that was given to me um, by a friend. Clearly I've not finished it yet. Water and then for when I crave something sweet at the end, Aldi had this like pumpkin spice whip topping on sale. So of course I have to get it and it's really good. So let's dig in and hang out. Hope you don't mind this kind of a mess. Just ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this just made me think of something. So Recently, I've been beefing with my Apple Watch band because here it is. Influencer hands, come on. Is it focusing? I can't tell. I don't think it is. It's trying its best. Oh, there we go. It's metal and what's nice about it is it's like very adjustable because, which is nice because the original band I got, the like small medium one, I my wrist size was in between two of the options, so it was either too tight or too loose, and it was driving me nuts. This one was fucking. Uh, this one was recommended to me, really great because it fit my wrist, but because it was metal, and I wear a lot of like delicate, fragile clothing especially like sweaters stuff like that and even my scrubs it would pull on it and it was like pulling out the threads and i guess my last i thought i heard something i guess my last straw was i bought this new sweater from uniqlo and literally my first time wearing it it snagged one of the threads out and i was like that's it we're done with you so i got this new band cute it like looks more like a normal watch kind of on the outside but it has way more holes and it's kind of the like sports band feel this is what i was going for more because sorry I'm so caught up talking i need to make sure i eat one of my top priorities was one it's sweat resistant. I'm a clammy, sweaty person, what can I say? Two, it needs to have lots of options or it needs to be very adjustable because my wrist is apparently not in normal size, I guess, or whatever the default sizes are. And then three, it would, three, 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 it would not catch on my 
clothing because I care a lot about my clothing and I enjoy dressing cute, but I don't enjoy when my cute clothes get ripped. No. That's the update with this. Let me know if anyone else has this problem or if like they had a problem with these with snagging. I know it's a problem or like other watch recommendations. This was like, I think six or seven dollars, so. These days, I don't really know what the normal price of things are because everything feels expensive, so I don't know. But six or seven, I was like, hey, that's a overpriced latte. Mm. Also, I'm a big fan of these chopsticks. They're plastic or silicone? I'm not sure. I got them off of Amazon. But if you like reusable chopsticks, I kind of tend to go away from the wood ones because they stain pretty easily. I just don't, don't like the look of stained things. Um, highly recommend them. I have them tagged in my, my like Amazon favorite, so check it out. If you want. Mm -hmm. All right. It's cheese time. <gasps> Is not. Ew. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The thing about using the scoops, though, is their integrity isn't as strong, so they kind of break a little bit easier. Oh, there we go. Why did I just get an email from Indiana's Secretary of State? I have not been in Purdue in many years, my guy. Or gal, or they, or them. Whoever that is. <gasps> so this is what I'm talking about. High reward. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't want to fill up on too much cheese because it will not help the bowel movements. Recently, I started reading the Percy Jackson series. Well, actually recently. I started Lightning Thief in September. And I was like, I'm gonna read all the books out before the show comes out. And for whatever reason, I just could not motivate myself to like, I literally got to probably page like 350 of 400 something in the Lightning Thief. I couldn't finish it. And then we started watching the show. Ew, my hair is just out and about. Shed like a dog, what was I saying? But I finally, I, because it had been like three months as I was in the process of reading Lightning Thief and I restarted it a couple days ago. So I'm like, I, I just need to restart this. I forgot what's happening. Cause like I'm watching the show. Some of the things are different in the show than the book. And I'm like, I want to read the book again to refresh. And it just re-triggered my reading slump apparently that I was in. So yeah, now we're back at it. We're on Titan's Curse at this point. And we're flying, it's good. 
I set my reading goal to 100 books again for this year. I think I can do it because like the key is you're having fun. Yay. But the key is to read some like easier books or like series that you can just knock out super easily. Um, that's how I was able to hit it so easily last year is because I read so many series last year, which was great. No, especially when I know I have more downtime, like especially the winter, especially during the week. When I say downtime as in like, it's not socializing as much or like going out and doing things. But this is when it is crucial to get in the, that reading because I know like in the summer, I'm not gonna wanna read as much unless I am on a beach or just chilling and wanting to escape reality. You know? <laughs> Quick question, hot take. With your stir fries, do you prefer noodles or rice? You can see I have noodles in this one, but I like them both a lot. I think my answer might be noodles right now. And this is something I could change myself, but I mix in the noodles with like the sauce and vegetables when I'm making it. Whereas the rice, I just add everything on top of the rice. If I'm doing it that way. But I could also easily just mix in the rice if I wanted to, so. Something within my control. Hmm. Sorry. I feel like I'm quite low energy. It's Friday. By the end of the week, you know your your head is mush. There's no thoughts going on. Especially when it's gloomy. It's gloomy out. Energy levels are low. Who wants to do anything? Not me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I'm starting to want these, but I don't want to wash them. Where does that leave us? Life is so hard. No, it is not. I, mean, I will I will survive and be okay. So right now is not the time to wash blueberries. We still have our Christmas tree up. This might be a little controversial given it is January 12th. I like to keep it up till Valentine's Day. Sue me. I think it just makes, it just makes it more cute. We want it to be cute. If I would, I would have it up all year round, but maybe that would make it less special then. Mm -hmm. Am I full? 
I am eating at a weird time. I'm eating a little later than I'm used to. So that's probably affecting it. My body's probably like, WTF, mate. Me too. Okay. I realize I've come across this issue recently as I am gauging my bonus cues right now. I have recently, and I, when I say recently, like past probably eight months or so, I call that recent, have noticed that I tend to eat more when meals are like fresh and hot because excuse me, I really enjoy Okay, anyway, I really enjoy the flavor and like the freshness of it because I was used to just eating a bunch of leftovers and leftovers are incredible. But there's something about a meal being like hot off the press, hot off the pan, you know, like you get what I mean. So I've been eating past my fullness cues because I'm just like, oh my gosh, fresh food. So something I'm personally working on a little bit again. I think it also comes with living on my own now for like over a year, which you think is crazy because I've been out of college for so long, but it's a life of being an RA in undergrad where all my meals were provided to me. So why would I cook? And then too, in grad school, I lived with family and I would cook sometimes, but just not as much as I'm like doing now that I'm on my own. Interesting stuff to reflect on. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to wash some blueberries because this is what my body wants. I could maybe eat all of these. We're just gonna wash them all and see what happens. So hold tight. Older horses, don't let the butt bug, butt bug side, that's not right, but you know. I'll be back, hold on. Okay, so turns out, ow, since it's the end of the week, a lot of our dishes are not clean, um, which makes sense. The boy I wanted to put these in was not available, so into the container it stays. Ooh. That one's good. God, these are some tart blooms. Do you hear that? Does anyone else's throat just randomly make like frog noises? Oh, what does that mean? I could eat so many, so many loops. I'm definitely starting to get full. I also want to finish the stir fry, so we're gonna see how I do. Okay, we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Thought we had an incident. I think I maybe figured out tofu. I don't know if I talked about this yet, but tofu has been something I really want to like feel good about cooking. I think I figured it out where it's like nice and crispy. I only like the soft tofu on certain occasions, mostly like the extra firm crispy, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I do chop it up to your little cubes, put in a bowl, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cornstarch. I throw it on the stove. I like kind of like sear the sides. I just like put it down, 
get a like plastic spatula, toss it around. So a couple, maybe two sides max, two sides minimum most actually, not max, are like nice and crispy. And then we take it all out and put it on a baking pan, throw it in the oven at 425 for like 20 minutes. Very good, very good and crispy and delicious. The key to tofu, I think, is pressing it beforehand. I used to press it with like, literally, what's the name of like the, like a tea towel. Like imagine pan, tofu, tea towel, and then I took my huge stock pot and literally put it on top. And it does work, the only thing is it kind of pools around it, so the bottom of the tofu is still kind of getting soaked. I got tofu press, life changing. I literally will press it with probably for like 24 hours where I'll put it in the night before, put it to the first setting. It'll make sense. This makes sense a little bit more with the one I use. Um, you can use whatever tofu press you like. I put it first sitting that I can get the tightest, goes overnight. In the morning, I'll like empty out the excess and then I'll pull it down as much as I can. So then it's even more pressed. So that way, by the time I'm cooking in the evening, we got maximum pressage. That's a word. My tofu press is also in my Amazon faves. If you're interested. I highly recommend. And you can makeshift your own too. I'm trying to drink more water too. I just don't really drink like anything. Which is not good, but I'm trying to hit two of these a day, you know? I don't know. I just don't love peeing a lot. Okay, you guys, look, it's orange. Hold on, I don't know if you can see the cap. See that little orange? Okay, um, I don't, oh, I'll just see, I'm like, I'm gonna balance this on my top six. Actually, let's see if I can. New challenge alert. This would be a dumb challenge. We gotta keep our dexterity skills up, guys. Do things with your non-dominant hand. Oh, kinda looks gross. I'm sure that was attractive. Bone apple tit. Do you hear that? That was my stomach. I literally just fed you. Chill out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's so good. Do one more, and then we're gonna go read. Ah! <gasps> Everyone stay calm. Everyone stay calm. Okay, I think we're okay. And that's how you don't use more dishes. Okay, I am pleasantly satisfied. My tummy is content and I'm ready to go read. Hydrate or digest? Please don't digest. So I continue to eat. 
I want to start. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for hanging out and eating with me. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Otherwise, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, anyway, let's not do that. Now I'm getting weird. I'll see you later. Bye.